my name is Karen and I am your seasoned airport agent and today I want to go over the five reasons why people miss airplanes. Uh, number one reason I would say is not giving yourself enough time to check in at the ticket counter. So the airline suggests two hours prior to departure uh, which is probably a pretty good time depending on the size of the airport you're going to but it's, it's two hours because you have to get to an agent at least one hour prior to departure otherwise you have missed the baggage cutoff time. If you miss the baggage cutoff time you're not going. You're going on another flight. You've missed your airplane. Um, and So that is a big thing. It takes time. Sometimes the lines are very long depending on when you're traveling. So you need to get there at least two hours prior to departure just so that you know you can get checked in. Uh, number two reason is TSA, security. So um, if you're going through any airport, you got to go through security, as everybody knows. Well, you need at least you know 30 minutes to an hour to get through security line. Uh, because you know once you get through security, then you got to find your gate. But you got it takes time sometimes to get through security. Sometimes those lines are very long. Give yourself ample time. I can't tell you how many times a day I hear. Well, I got stuck in security. Well, yeah, I mean, it drives me crazy. It's like it's every airport you're going to go through security, so you're not giving yourself enough time to check in and then get through security. Number three reason is you don't give yourself enough time and a connection. So if you're connecting, which a lot of people make connections in a hub, uh, you have to have ample time, a minimum of an hour because you have you know time to get off an airplane and then you have to get over to a gate and then get on another airplane you need at least an hour and listen guys if you're going on a commuter flight one of those smaller ones where they take the bag and then they deliver it gate deliver it to you before you get to your connection that's an extra at least 15 or 20 minutes while you're waiting for the bag and a lot of those times it, you're parking remotely and so it's extra time with that. So if you're, especially if you're like coming in from a small city and they valet check your bag and then you pick up your bag in the hub and then you got to wait. Well, that's in 20, 30 minutes every day people miss airplanes because they were waiting for their bag. So if uh, when you're making your reservation, make sure that you choose a, a connection that has an hour or more depending on where you're going. If you're going to Hawaii or to London or someplace that there's only one, maybe two flights a day, give yourself ample time because if you miss one of those flights, you're spending the night. So if you're, if you're going to a place that's, you know, there's just not a lot of service, give yourself at least two hours. That way, if there's any kind of delay or something, you're not sweating it because, you know, <clears throat> People miss them all the time because of, of delays coming into the hub. 10, 15 minutes might, might you know, is all you need. And then you're, then you're stuck. So that's number three, not giving yourself enough time on your connection. Um, number four, um, you're not at the right gate. That is like all the time. People are just not at the right gate. They've looked at their gate when they checked in and it's changed. It could change two or three times. Make sure you either Google the gate, or check your gate, or look at the monitor, or ask an agent. Make sure you're at the right gate, guys. Um, and if you don't see your, your flight number going to your destination, ask. Uh, every day, people miss it. Well, I was sitting at such and such a gate. I didn't know it changed. Well, if you don't see people boarding or hear announcements, start asking questions. Come on, you guys. I mean, every day. I was at the wrong gate. Well, now you, now you kind of got a problem. Um, and number five is you're sitting at a restaurant. You go and order a meal. You think, okay, my flight's at 5 o'clock. I'll show up at 4.55. Guess what? You've missed your airplane. Don't do that. Don't do that, guys. If you need to get something to eat, either bring it with you, order it uh, beforehand, get to the gate at least 30 minutes prior, uh, hopefully an hour prior. That'll give you time to either change gates if you need to or get to where you need to go. I can't tell you how many times people have missed Hawaii, uh, going to Europe because they're sitting in a restaurant eating and not either paying attention to the time or thinking they've got more time. We shut the door 10 minutes prior to departure. So 
we dump your seats about 15. So you need to be at the gate. You need to be on the airplane 15 minutes prior to departure. Uh, top five reasons why people miss their airplane. So what happens when you miss an airplane? Well, there's only two things that can happen. Is we can either try to get you booked on another flight if it's available. There may or may not be a charge for that depending on why you missed your flight. If it was uh, the airline's responsibility, we brought you in late, then we'll book you, no charge. If it's just you didn't give yourself ample time, then there's a charge. Um, the second thing is you go standby, and that's pretty much standard. We put you standby on the next, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the next available flight. That could be later the day, or it could be the next day, and then you're got stuck with the hotel. So, you know, just. Pay attention, give yourself time. Um, when you're traveling by air, you just you know, you just have to have enough time and that will make everything so much smoother. So anyway, I'm Karen. Iflyright.net. Check us out. I've got weekly blogs um, about all kinds of things and I hope to see you at the airport and please don't miss your flight. Alright, bye bye.